So welcome back. This time I decided to do a new series, a new playlist on web development. And I decided to start really from scratch without any libraries or anything. I will just cover um, JavaScript, um, HTML and CSS in this video series. So we all know the World Wide Web, I guess. And this is how the first website looked like. And in this first series, in this um, first introduction video, uh, we will just um, develop a website like this. As you might have known already, you can view this page source um, like this. And there you can see how the um, website was developed. You can see here this um, uses very old, a very old style of um, HTML. It doesn't even um, introduce the document as an HTML document and such. But in this video, we will learn um, HTML5. And we will also program a very basic informational website like this. So to get started, we can create a new website. Let's call this video one HTML. And first of all, we want to declare a doc type. This says to the browser that this A document is an HTML document. After that, we can already specify the HTML and specify the language that this document is written in. And for us, this is American English. And we also need to close this tag again. Um, HTML is uh, always composed um, of text, tags, and those tags you can open and you also need to close them. There are only a few that you don't need to close. For example, there's the head tag. Um, which is basically for a lot of uh, meta information about the website. And there's also the body. And this is the tag that is used for the visible things on our website. In our head, we can specify things like the title of the website. And for us, mm, let's, let's call this first website. And we also need to specify a meta tag or meta information. And we want to specify that this website supports um, Unicode encoding. And that is basically all we need for now in the head. Now we can start with our website basically. And there are multiple tags we can use. For example, um, the H tags, they are for headers and the h1 is the header of first order and we can move down these this order up till uh, up until the header of order 6 i think let's recreate just this website so we could also do Things like this and in the header we would then type World Wide Web like this 
And then afterwards, we could start a paragraph with the P tag. You also don't specify anything about how the website looks inside the HTML or how the website behaves. This will all be out sourced, I think, <laughs> uh, into um, the CSS for um, the styling and the JavaScript file uh, for the behavior of the website. So the HTML only describes the content of the website and nothing else. This is the first paragraph. And we can also um, we can uh, use BR to break the line. And this is a tag that doesn't need to be closed. And we can also use an anchor tag. to link to another website, for example, here to my homepage. And this is how we link to other websites. And this is basically almost everything that the first iteration of the web project had. It was only static content with um, a link to other websites and the linking to other websites um, basically made these websites into a web because they were interlinked into each other like a web. So yeah. What else could we do on our first have a website we could maybe introduce also a list because they are also useful to have we could let's break here things I like for example And we could introduce an unordered list. This is the UL tag. And then we can introduce link items here. And program name. Just random things and if we are happy with our website that we put together then we can also inspect it in the browser and for that we can refresh this index here and see that radio one website also already exists and as we can see we have a very simple website now with a title and then we have a link to my website, which we didn't link correctly. I'm sorry about that. Mm. Of course, the URL is not enough. We also need to specify the protocol. And I'm not sure. That. Um, I guess we should rather use HTTPS directly like this. Now we can refresh the page again. And as you can see, we can see my website here. And we have a small list of things here, things I like. And yes, this should already conclude the first video on the topic. This just one, I want to to show you 
how to write a very simple website from scratch. Now what you need to do is basically declare what type of document it is. Then after that comes the HTML tag that encloses the whole website. Then we have the head and the body where the head is mainly for meta information about the website like the title and the character encoding and the body is all the visible content of the website. And there you need to learn um, the HTML5 tags. You can always look them up. There are a lot of them. Um, if you just want to write simple content, then um, you need to be familiar with the header um, and maybe list. There's a unordered list and an ordered list. Um, basically replacing the U with an O here makes it into an ordered list. So it would be then uh, marked as first, second, and so on. Then uh, P is for paragraph and A is for an anchor. So you can link to other content on the World Wide Web. And maybe you also need to uh, also want to know how to make um, text bold, for example. Or italic. And this should already be enough so you can write very simple content um, for your website. Yeah, I hope you liked this first video and there's a lot more to come in the series. And yeah, see you next time.